Hi, this is uh, Tina Hewitt, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Adelaide, Australia. And um, I hope you've been enjoying the videos from the Create Together Stampers group. So, um, I'm actually going to be showing you um, the Peaceful Deer bundle. Okay, so, I've got the Peaceful Deer stamp set and the punch that goes with that. And if you look in the mini catalog, this is on page 26. So we've got the um, lovely Dia stamp set and the punch bundle, some nice ideas in here. There's some paper that goes with that. It's actually a free um, pack of paper that you can get uh, for a qualifying um, order. And uh, if you spend $90 during celebration, which finishes at the end of September, then you can get this pack of paper. I'll just quickly show you that. So you get these different um, sheets of paper, traditional red and green, and then you've got the deer. This is a uh, neutral color, trees and that. So, um, I like the birch background pattern. So these are um, so this is a free set. So you get twelve sheets, two of each one. Now, if you have a look at this, you might think, oh, is that about the same size as the punch? Yes, it is. And um, a bit later, I'll show you a little trick. So this is one I've cut out of cardstock. This is one I've cut out of the paper, but. Look at that, it's going the other way. How did I do that? That's a little trick. I'll show you a bit later. So, what I'll show you first is a, um, a nice little card that I made using this set. I was inspired by another demonstrator um, and um, I've changed it up a little bit. So, look at that, reach over here. So this is the card I'm going to recreate now. Um, now, I used one of the um, decorative masks from the basic patterns decorative mask set. And um, so what I've done is use that to create the background and that didn't take very long at all. So I've got my piece of soft succulent cardstock for my card front. And I'll just move that over there a bit. So I'm just going to put this over the top here now, I have actually used a little bit of, um, it's, it's a spray adhesive. It's a temporary adhesive on this stencil. So it'll just, it's just made it slightly tacky. It's actually nearly all come off now um, for my earlier example. But anyway, so what, I, what I'm doing is I'm just going to use the um, soft succulent ink colour and use the fantastic blending brushes just to rub, apply the colour through, through the mask. Now see so this is, hasn't got a lot of sticky left on it but that's okay. So, um, so the, the trick is, so you just pick up the colour from your stamp pad and you just go a circular motion and you gradually build up the colour. Now, um, so this, this might take about five minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take that long because you, you can sort of get the idea through that. If I lift this up, you'll see how that is coming through nicely there. So that's how I got that one. But uh, through the magic of television, I've already done, <laughs> here's what I prepared earlier. Uh, remember that, what we, they used to say on the TV shows? Um, yeah, that was, that was always uh, a great little thing that they used to say. Um, so I've already prepared that one. Uh, did that just still an hour ago or so. So I've got my background piece. Now, here's a little trick I do. Um, I'm, I'm like to be uh, conservative 
frugal is another word <laughs> for it with my cardstock. So when I do punch outs or something like that, I tend to cut my cardstock into a um, a certain size, which is a size that will fit this mat and it'll fit onto card base. So I've got my evening evergreen card base and I've got my white mat. So this is a standard size card. So that's an A6. So this mat is cut to 10 centimetres that way by 14.3 and then the um, soft succulent piece would be 9.5 by 13.8 centimetres. So that's how um, I layer my pieces on. But before I do that, I just thought I will do the inside of the card, um, do a little bit of stamping. So on this one, um, I put the little deer in there. But on this one, I'm going to um, put one of the trees in from the set. Now, because this is a polymer stamp set, I like to bring in uh, my pierce mat. And so it's a foam mat. It'll help get a, a good impression. So I'm just going to ink that up in the same colour and just stamp it in the bottom corner of a white piece that's going to be my insert. Now I did, I'm not sure if I'll put that away just yet because there's one little thing I wanted to do to this which won't take very long. So that's I'm sort of doing things out of order, but that's okay. Um, what I do sometimes is just with the um, the blending brush or a dauber, I will just go in, just just take a little bit of the edge off, edge of the, of the panel. Just do a little bit of shading on there and just put it inside the card and the one on the front, I'll do the same. So I'm just going to put a bit of shading there. So that's ready to stick inside the card. And I'm just going to use um, multi-purpose liquid glue because it's the quickest thing to do this. And stick that in there. Okay. So that one and for the and for this I'm going to just just shade in from the sides a little bit there and with the um, with the ink just um, It's a sort of a, uh, it's a vignetting uh, effect. It's a photographic term. So it just draws the eye, and look, I'm making little smudges, but that's okay. Um, it draws the eye into the centre of the, um, the picture. Oh, I'll need that open for one more little thing. Let's do the greeting, but that's it. So I've got my, my background. I'm just going to attach that. To there, to the white mat. And be, and before I put that onto my card base, oops. There's a bit of wiggle room with the, when you're using the glue, which is great. Okay, a little bit of wiggle room. So I've got my um, my ribbon here, and I'm just going to wrap that around there. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, seal plus just on the back where the ribbon's going to go. So just about there. Oops, just gonna... Sometimes it's moved off the end. There we go. Just put a bit there. Okay. Put it about 
third. It's a little bit higher than that one. So now I'm just going to use glue for the rest of the back and put that onto the card front. That's my card front. Now the deer, I've already punched out my little deer um, using the, um, the punch here. And when I punch them out, I, I usually hold the punch in my right hand, put my paper in and then punch that way. So I can see where I'm lining up and I'll show you that when I do the, um, the paper trick. So now the deer, I'm going to add the antlers and the best way to do that is to use the mini glue dots. So I put one behind the deer's head. And then, then I'll just position the antlers. So they just grab the end of the glue dot. You can't see me doing that because I'm doing it just off camera, but that's however I want them. Oh, swap them over, got the wrong way around. <laughs> but I don't think it really matters, but you can do, <laughs> you can do whatever you like. Anyway, so so put the little antlers. So that's just on a little glue dot. Then I'm going to put um, a couple of dimensionals on the deer's body. So that's ready to go on the card. But I've got to do my little Merry Christmas. So I have lots of off cuts of white when I cut down these layers and I keep them for um, greetings. So this one is just a perfect width for these type of greetings. So oops, I'll get my match again because it's a polymer stamp. So I'm just going to stamp it about there. Did I do that straight? No, I didn't. I'm going to turn it over and do it again. That's okay. Okay, that's better. So now I can now I can cut that. So I'm going to grab my scissors, which are here. It's, it's not perfectly straight, but that's all right. I'm just going to cut these little bits off there. All right. And put a couple of dimensionals on that. And that's ready to stick on the card. Okay. Like that, and then I'll put the deer on. So this one, you can see, doesn't take a lot of time. I am rushing a little bit, but that's, that's um, what I do. When I'm a bit... <laughs> uh, when I just sit and play and nobody's watching me, I'll just take my time. But I'm just, uh, it's just having having one of those days. But anyway, so that's the card. So um, <laughs> so that didn't take that long, really. Um, and I'll just show you. But hopefully I won't get any more smudges on my other examples. The other things I've made we using this bundle. So... Here's, here's a card I made at a get-together with um, some demonstrator friends and, um, uh, and she provided all this, um, all the, um, the bits and pieces and we, we did that. So that's, that's a bit sparkly. It's quite sparkly for me. <laughs> then I, um, I started this kind of um, different kind of a card in a, a card-making class I go to and this features the paper. So it's a few of the different... Um, papers that are in that that pack that free pack and um, I'm quite happy with how that turned out so it's just a different and it will fit in a DL envelope um, and this is using our um, um, tag set that's in the annual catalog dies um, and um, and then this one which it's a it's a fancy pop-up card I've just learned this yesterday in my uh, card class I go to so this 
just it, yeah it sort of pops up like this so you, and then if I just pull that up it will stand up you can't so you're looking at the top bit so if I just turn it down there you can see what it is I might end up putting a little another banner or something across there but um, that would be a nice little table decoration uh, as well so they're the um, the cards that I've um, been making with this set so um, I just wanted to show you this little trick with the with the deer. So we have the paper, and so the paper we've got the deer one row going one way, one row going the other way. So this is how you get the deer punch out that deer. See if you're looking at the punch that way. How are you going to punch it out? Yeah, so uh, that's the tricky bit. So you can do this with, I've made one with copy paper. I've made one with vellum. So you get a piece of um, paper or vellum, fold it in half, and you put it in the punch, and you punch it out. Right, so I've got that. So I've got it on both sides like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in here, line that up. So it's got a bit of a, um, just a little bit of a bit of white around the deer. Uh, just give some minute. Yeah, that's about right. So that's now nice and lined up there. Then I can turn that over. As long as I don't move it, it'll be right. So then I put this paper in here it's a bit hard to angle this I'm just going to slide this down and put that in the punch and that's ready to go and I hopefully I did oh I think I missed I moved it I nearly, nearly moved it I'll just try that one more time so just got to be a little bit patient. Okay, won't, won't take my hands off that one because I've got a funny hand, but that's okay. Okay. Put that in there. Let's see if this works. Okay. If I turn this over. Ah, I moved it. Ah, there you go. I moved it. So that's... That's what happens when you try, you try this. It doesn't always work. Oops, and I can't get my punch out of there now. The paper out's a little bit um, stuck. The vellum's a bit stuck. That's all right. I'll just put that aside. There we go. Take the paper out. But I've got it nearly there. This one I did earlier. It worked. But that one I didn't. So a little bit of trial and error. That's okay. So that's that. Um, we have got... A, um, our free shipping which ends on Friday the 10th of September at 5pm local time and um, now with the celebration um, I just wanted to let you know if you got this bundle with the deer the punch and um, if you bought the decorative masks which are these and I've got the rest of them here to do the stencil type background so this pack you've got four different types here and then um, so a pack of blending brushes if you got those three items that would be enough to qualify to get the paper for free so you can make tons of cards using all of that sort of stuff so um, I hope that helps uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the boo-boos and all so <laughs> I'll try that one again but it did work once it just didn't work on camera <laughs> we all have these funny things happen so anyway that's okay so we will um we'll see you in the next um video we'll have a next event uh it's coming up for world card making day which is saturday the 2nd of october so um put that in your diaries now and um, we'll have something organized by then we're just in the planning stages so i'll see you see you next time okay see you bye <laughs>